Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. Okay. Kia ora. Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Robin. And I'm Hugo. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country in the form of wool and graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it. And the latest weather update. But, but first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes, an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Isabel. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Ivy, and the builder, Khalil. What made you decide to build this upside-down house? I got inspired from a museum I went to, and I thought it would be unique. Honestly, I just did this for the money. What's your favourite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? Getting, being able to climb on my furniture and hang from things. What are some of the challenges of living in this house? Trying to get into bed, cook and go to the toilet. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Back to you, Robin and Hugo. First, story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak, which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. The inventor says, as soon as he puts it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here's our reporter, Mianette. Hello, I'm Mianette, and with me here is iconic duo, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So, what made you want to invent the invisibility cloak? So we could hi play hide and seek all day. So I can be the ultimate prankster. Can you show me how it works? Sure, now you see him, now you don't. What do you hope the cloak will be used for? Hide and seek and pranks. Well, that makes things very clear. Back to Wait, let me do it. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Meenet. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime is covering the country, thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are searching together a case, but there's no real answer. <laughs> Come to the crimes. We cross now to Aiden with an exclusive interview. Thanks, Robin. I'm Aiden, and joining me today is a member of the Midnight Knitters Gang. Yo, yo, Jejuma. And thanks for joining us. What led you into a dark underworld of knitted graffiti? I was inspired by my fellow graffiti friends. Do you see yourself as a criminal? No, I don't. Just think about it. I only graffiti lampposts and trees. I'm not killing anyone. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with your window? If I had if I had the lotto ticket, I would probably go to Paris and graffiti some parts of Paris and some parts of the Eiffel Tower. Thanks, Jesse Mark, for this interview. Wait, 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 please. Can you please sign this? I'm a big fan. Step step back. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Sorry for that inconvenience. Back to you guys at the studio. Well, at least they will warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country. But Charlie, what's in store? Hugo, let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Auckland, there will be a mix of fair and unfair conditions. But those are the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short holiday, but is expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Crushers will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes the sun. That's all from us. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Charlie and David. Finally, it's time for two minutes with Ryan, who is talking to an unusual world champion. Over to you, Ryan. Hello, and welcome to Two Minutes with me, Ryan. Joining me today is Cooper and Isabel, who have just been crowned the world's greatest liar. Hello, Cooper and Isabel. 
What is the most outrageous lie you've ever told? It would probably be one of the ones I'm about to tell you. Do you lie all the time or is it just when you're competing? No, I don't lie all the time. What do you mean? Yeah, you do. Are you lying to me right now? No, of course not. You so are. Well, thanks for joining me. I'm Ryan. Back to the news desk. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoy enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Hugo. And I'm Robin for Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye. Goodbye.